Sometimes when you begin to see negative symptoms, find expression in your life, you need to check your life. Are you with me? We need to do what? Check your life. That's the first thing I do. And I see a negative thing happen. The other day we went for a crusade in my village. I was invited by our church, our village church. And meanwhile, that's the greatest honor you can have if you are from my village. It's for the church to recognize you and say, come and preach to us. Meanwhile, the time where I was called to preach in that church, there was a policy that if you are not an ordained minister according to that church, you cannot preach on their pulpit. I don't know how I found myself there because I don't qualify to be there. In fact, when I came to preach and I sat down on the minister's seat with the elders, I, I tried to greet them like this. Nobody answered me. I was alone. When I was tired of, of raising my hand, I found a way of lowering it. <laughs> As the service progressed, oh, thank God for the Holy Ghost. That he is the best friend. It should be a sign that he was with me on that altar. And as I preached and I preached, then my eyes were open in the spirit. And I told them the vision I saw. And I, I, I told them that there's going to be a manifestation. And then there was a powerful manifestation. Then I turned to uh, the congregation and I was led by the Holy Ghost to rebuke deafening spirits. And when I did that, two of the elders who were deaf from their childhood began to hear in their right ear, including my own biological uncle, that is the eldest in our family that attended. Okay, let me stop there. He also got healing on his ears. And after the elders got healing on their ears, I tried, I attempted greeting them again. This time I got a response. But the response was like this. The response was like this. And I was on my way back. I, was, I went with, uh, with Evangelist Philip, and we're on our way back, and then we had a ghastly motor accident. Yeah, I know, I know my people are very powerful when it comes to such things. But my question was, I was trying to find out how we could be attacked. So I went to God in prayer and said, oh my God, is it that I have left your ways? that witches were able to program me into their crystal ball and launch an attack that was effective. And I prayed like that for three days. And the Lord came to me when he did in the night. I said, have you taken inventory of what God spoiled? What exactly God spoiled? Say my car, my white car. He took me to one scripture. He said, I've given you power to tread upon serpents and upon scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. He said, did I write your vehicle there? <laughs> Are you not okay? Huh? Oh. Have I not showed you that scripture that says we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principles? The word wrestle there means to struggle so that your sweat mixes with the sweat of your enemy. It means that it's contact. Have I not told you before? There's no insurance policy that, if you, that guarantees your vehicle. Your vehicle can be a victim of this struggle. But the guarantee is that nothing shall by any means hurt you. You know one thing about God? You can go to God and lay your complaint. And because God is righteous, if your complaint is just, he will turn the hand of the clock. It has happened to me before. God told me I was praying with my wife. 
Hallelujah. It was on the 1st of January. I don't, I've forgotten the, the year. So we, we, I was praying with my wife, held her like this, and the people that were in our household, we, we were eight in all that used to stay in my house that time. So as we were doing that prayer, God spoke. He said, give me a hundred thousand naira every month. At the end of the prayer, I called my wife. I said, I was hearing a voice. But that voice is difficult to hear. What the voice said is, give me a hundred thousand every month. And if I give God a hundred thousand every month, it means that my car should not get spoiled. If not, I can repair it. Nobody should be sick. If not, we can't treat them. And the quality of soup that we, we, we eat will depreciate. You understand that situation? So I, I, I called her. I said, this is what I'm hearing. But I'm not sure it's God. She says, <laughs> she says God. I say, are you sure this, that it's God? She says, God will never say you should, uh, Satan will never say you should win souls, and Satan will never say you should give God money. Okay, it's God. I was obeying this thing. You know. And then, when promotion comes, my name will not be there. How many of you know the, the Zoological Garden of Benue State University? I went there for 48 hours and told God, this is the Bible. You, this is your manual. This is how you say we should operate. Can you show me my wrong in this Bible and explain to me why I will not be promoted? I did that prayer for two days. Right? The prayer ended on Sunday night. I went home. On Monday morning by 9 o'clock. Are, are you following my story? I got a call from Abuja. From the head office of the organization that I was working with. And they told me that the chief executive was coming to Makoti. I said, what are you coming to do? So they have an event in the University of Agriculture. I think it's a, a something, just something. They had something. So all right, we're on ground. We went to the toll gate to wait for them. And when they came, took them to, what was it? What was the name of that whole hotel? Um, is it Half Heaven? Is this thing called Half Heaven? Oh my God, it has changed. Not by the Lord, but it's changed. There was one hotel called Half Heaven then. That was where we took them. We went to the depot straight. And the man came into the office. He said, ah, who furnished this office? I said, I'm, I'm the one. He said, why didn't you ask for your money? I said, we just needed what to use. And I didn't furnish it because I wanted the refund. He said, no, 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 no. Ask for your money, ask for your money. That money I have not been paid to today. <laughs> he asked me a question and I answered. He asked me another question and I answered. So he now said, come. Supposing we have this scenario, what will you do? I told him, this, uh, this is what it means. This is what to do. This is what not to do. It's okay. He said, I heard that they expanded the army. I said, yeah, you got that right. This is the home of Yam. He said he wants pounded Yam. I said, this Agbada you are wearing, if I take you there, you'll be kidnapped. So go and put on jeans. Let's, be, let's know that our problems are, are few. So he, said, so he went and put on jeans and a T-shirt. We went there. We finished eating. We went to Union Greek. We finished the event. They went back to Abuja. I didn't know that he couldn't sleep when he went back to Abuja. 
Why could he not sleep? I went to God and I told God, if there is anything I've done wrong in this Bible, show me as an explanation for why I will not be promoted. The deal is that you posted me, God posted me to Makoti to do his work. And in the best of my knowledge, I have done everything you said I should do. If there is anything left, show me from the Bible. He went back to Abuja and he couldn't sleep, like I said. And he asked the head of admin to bring my fire. You may not know, the man I'm talking about is one of the most wicked human beings on earth. So he's not looking to do you any favor. It is the hand of God that was moving. Because I challenged God with his word. You there? There is a room to challenge God. The man went and brought the file and checked it and saw that I was not promoted for five years wrongfully. Ordered my promotion. Normally people get promoted in January. That's when, so that they can structure their accounts to capture your new status. That promotion came out in June. And the promotion was backdated for four years. So I was eligible for promotion the next year. The man forced them to give me a gain. Because I challenge God with his word. Do you realize that the Bible reveals that God has exalted his word above his name? And the meaning of that is that God himself is subject to the authority that is captured in his word. God will not violate his word. That's what makes the word of God reliable and you can anchor your life upon it. I remember there was one of my uncle those days, if you, I, you do any godly thing, he, he takes it upon himself to make you feel ridiculed. But you know what? It is only people that are shallow that your ridicule can affect. When you try to ridicule me, I will turn it into a dance, but you cannot change my conviction. I will even make it more, more, more comical so that people can catch the excitement of the moment, but my conviction is intact. Because I know that at the end of the day, it is compliance to the word of God that determines the blessings that follow. 